All right, guys, here we are. We're out here on Hogtown Bayou. Got the Z-Man scented paddler Z on here. Gonna toss this guy around a little bit. There's a little bit of bait fish moving around. It's high tide right now. The water's not really moving, so it might be a couple hours before the action picks up, but uh, that's not an excuse not to fish. Still got to fish, because you never know. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, did I lose it? I think I lost it. Nope, we, oh, we are on. Oh yeah, we're on. Sweet. What's it gonna be? I'm guessing a red. It's running right towards the boat. Oh, what's it gonna be? What happened? There we go. Oh my God, it's a ray. <laughs> First one of these I've ever caught. Oh, he choked that hook too, holy crap. Hmm. Whoa. That is pretty neat. New experience for me right there. Uh. See you buddy. <laughs> okay. Uh. It's getting absolutely crazy, all right. I'm either gonna catch a pinfish or lose this shrimp and then I am moving. Getting obliterated. Got him. That's not a pinfish. What is it? Oh, it's a little baby red. Oh my God. That is funny. A little baby red fish. Not what I was looking for. Come on, man. Trying to get some bait, dude. Little baby red, little spot. Sweet. But get out of here. Got him. All right, got us some bait. There he is. Pinfish for dinner. All right, we just got us a fish on the cut bait. I think we might have a nice red here. Aggressive. Might be a nice red. Look at that, guys. I better get my net. Oh, yeah. I haven't felt a tug like that in a while. It's definitely a red. <laughs> Sweet. On the cut bait. My shrimp were getting destroyed by pinfish, so I said, you know what? I'm just gonna catch one of those pinfish. Cut, cut it and use it. Is that a trout? No. I'm tripping. It can't be a trout. It's gotta be a red. Yeah. Oh my god, guys. It is a freaking tank trout. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, guys. Oh, what? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God, guys. What a fish. What a freaking fish.
So we're coming in right at about, it looks like, right about 23 inches. 23 inch trout. See the cut bait on the jig head. Absolute dream fish, you guys. Can't even believe it. So amazing. All right, so that was a super fun day of fishing. Obviously any day you get a personal best is always a good day. That was my personal best, speckled trout. Um, had a lot of fun. Again, um, that was part of the same, that video was on the hard drive where I, uh, a bunch of footage got corrupted, so I lost a lot of footage from that day. Caught a ton of catfish, um, and then ended up getting stuck in the lake really bad by a catfish at the end of the day where I actually had to like yank the catfish out of my leg. It was pretty brutal. But I survived, all's well that ends well. Got the PB trout and uh, I cleaned it up. So today is actually a couple weeks after that video was taken, um, but I hadn't had a chance to cook up that trout yet. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I just wanna do something simple and I wanna use some, uh, some vegetables from the garden here. So we got some yellow squash that's ready to rock. So I'm gonna pop a couple of these bad boys off. And we're just gonna do some sauteed yellow squash. And then I'm just gonna pan sear that speckled trout and some butter, make it super simple. All right guys, so we got everything ready to go here. Fish fillets, thought out, ready to rock. We got some fishmonger for the fish. We got some tonies for the veggies. Squash that we cut up. We're gonna saute that with some onion. We got some butter and we got a bunch of beet greens from some beets we picked the other day. Uh, so we're gonna make a super simple little salad out of that. Almost everything here is from the garden and from the bay, which is awesome. That's the goal that we're shooting for is try to be as close to being food independent as possible. And like I said, we got really high quality fish, so we're gonna keep it super simple and uh, not get all crazy with it. And we're just gonna enjoy it for what it is because if you've never had speckled trout, it's amazing. I'm gonna heat up some butter and we're gonna get cooking. All right, last couple of little pieces of fish are cooking. Squash and onions are almost done. And look at those trout fillets. They turned out amazing. It's almost time to eat. All right guys, it's meal time. So there is the plate. We got these big awesome trout fillets. We got the greens, the beet greens from the garden. And we got our sauteed yellow squash, also from the garden. I tried a couple pieces of the trout already. It's absolutely outstanding. As always, I highly recommend trying some speckled trout and just cooking it real simple. I think it's such a good fish, the only way you can really mess it up is if you over season it or if you overcook it. So this was a great adventure, awesome day on the water, fishing, lots of crazy stuff happened. And what better way to close out the adventure than with a plate of food that looks like that right there. So thanks for hanging out guys. If you wanna see more of this type of content, catching cooks, we're gonna be doing a lot of fishing. We'll be doing a little bit of hunting later in the year, garden updates. For now, I'm gonna go eat and we'll see y'all later.